going to be building a homestead today, and Marie, it is so fun to gather your family around, let each one of them work on a different piece of it, or even let each one of them make their own oh home. Oh my, that would be fun. That fun, yes. So here we have over here the, the uh, garage for the car, and then we have the main pumpkin, which is the house, and we've carved that out to look like a house, but everybody could make their own kind of house and design it. And over here, we did not forget the dog. <laughs> so what you're going to need for this is an evening with your family and some tools. So over there, we're showing you the scoop out tools. This is the thing I love about these is you can get these and buy them, but they will not cut. So I always suggest that people get these. The little saws, if you really tried, you could probably cut yourself, but mm -hmm. uh, they're very, they're a lot safer than, than uh, knives. I was amazed how well that works though. Isn't that good? So it's amazing. It's Efficient. wonderful. So the first thing you would do is cut Draw a circle around here, and then I always notch my pumpkins with a notch right here. And I just Because it that. makes it easy to put your lid on and off exactly where you I want to put it. I've never thought of that before. That's so, a great tip. Next thing is to draw these out, and I usually just take a regular pencil, like a, a, number, a two, number ten, and sketch around what I want first, and then go ahead and start carving it out with the tools. And then you'll scoop it out with your different scoops. Once you have that all carved, the next thing you want to want to do is to decorate it with your ghosts. So the ghost is just a sucker, a, it's actually a Tootsie Pop, and we're going to put a Kleenex over the top of that. And then if you'll just hang on to it, and you can make as many of these. These can be uh, given away for trick or treats or whatever. Uh, we're just tying up, uh, you can use yarn, or this is just a little ribbon around it. And then to the front of that, Maria, if you want to show them exactly how you do your little eyes. We'll just put some little eyes there, a yeah. ghostly face. And those are fun. I did take one tool that's a poke tool that you just poke in and then you can put the ghosts in the pumpkins as we get around. Now over here I want to make a car and let's just show you what a, the cars look like. They're potatoes, but again you might come up with a little squash or mm -hmm. you know oh, yeah, go to the store and be really really different creative. Different ca uh, car models, right? Yes, and I think this kind of a project helps the kids so that they become a little more creative and that's something we're always looking to, yes. to help them with their creativity. So I'm just using gumdrop drops and I cut a toothpick in half. I'm putting the gumdrop in one end and then we're pushing it into the potato. The wheels for the uh, potato, or for the car, are going to be out of carrots. So we'll just push those through and put those on both sides and <laughs> you can get your, <laughs> and your engine up. And, and I think how fun this would be to, to do with your family, everybody, trying to improve on their designs and yes. coming up with different ideas and talking and sharing yes. and what a great way to just spend some time together and I mean some real valuable exactly. time where you're really relating to each other. You know you can go pay a lot of money for those haunted houses but what yes. you build here is a memory that they That's never true. forget. So. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> there There's go. your little car out there all set to go. Now to decorate the haunted house once we get it all put together is I have uh, if you can come in and see these broccoli trees. Yes, I love so that. So we have those for the night, and then tomorrow we have them we'll for, have dinner. for dinner. So that's we have right. the broccoli. Then I took just a roll of paper towels, and with the roll of paper towels, I cut quarters just here at the bottom so it'll stand up. And it looks like a tree trunk. And it looks like it is a tree trunk, because we're going to put it behind here, Maria. And then I'm going to take the pineapple top and put that right in the top. So we have a nice big pine tree if we're in California or wherever we want to so be. So we're recycling all these yeah. items. This is really great. So then I have also taken the uh, carrots and made a little pathway in the front with the carrots. And again, you oh, can I have like so that. much fun with that. We'll go ahead and put our little ghost in here so he, we have a driver. Oh yes, good. And if we good, need good. a passenger, we can put <laughs> another passenger. And again, you can have so much fun doing this. But for oh, the I finale, like I have something really special. And what I'll tell you is we should make sure that only adults do this, that children do not touch the dry ice or you leave children with dry ice. That's one tip for this. And then I always use a glove. We've already prepared the dry ice. It's in a can and it's in here and it's cut up in a really small. Where do you get dry ice? You get it at most of the places. Uh, I got mine at Dan's in this area. Oh, so in a regular grocery store. Yeah, and okay. go back to the meat department, ask them. In the thermos, I have boiling hot water. The hotter the water, the bigger the steam. So okay, I, before you put it in, I want to okay. ask you, is this yeah. one that you did on the Today Show? Oh, I did on the Today Show, and I did on Good Morning America oh. as well, and I did <laughs> okay. on the Home Show. So here we go. And then if you'll get ready, Maria, put the lid on that. 
because we know where the notch is, then that'll force it to come out the front. And we have created our haunted <laughs> house. Oh my goodness. The children You've built a memory. So, oh, how yeah. fun. You've built this a memory <laughs> that will last forever. Take pictures, send them to Grandma and Grandpa, put them on the internet. You're yeah, all you'll set. You'll remember this forever. Thank yeah. you, Diane. Thank you.